it's pretty muddy out here. I was just telling Tyler back there a little bit ago, it's muddier than I'd ever seen it out here in this exact spot. So I'm wallowing around in the mud, which is a weird sensation to be going through mud whoops. Yeah! Come on, beta! Get it! Feel your self kind of slipping around in the mud. Kind of, of an, kind of an unnerving feeling. What do you think of the beta right now? And I was, I mean, the conditions are a little slick, but I was really trying to push it as hard as I honestly could there. And while it is better when it's fast and slow, there's just something about the bike. I don't know what it is. It's just really rigid. It's almost like a motocross bike feeling. And I mean, some of that terrain is made for what this bike. That whole last section is exactly yeah, what this I bike mean, is for. And, man, it's just, Third gear, fourth gear. You've even softened stuff up, but it's just so stiff. Man, but I mean, it's a fun bike. Very slick. Oh, I'm gonna get cross rutted here. I'm not tracking straight. Oh, just watching this makes me want to get back out on the bike and ride. Uh, we were obviously doing some faster stuff today, uh, but you had to kind of hold up just a little bit. I had to hold up just a little bit because it was a little bit slick in these corners. Some of these corners are going to be worse than others, and I'll almost lose it a couple of times. And so you, you just had to kind of be careful. But beggars can't be choosers up here in northern Utah in January when this ride was happening. By the time you guys watch this video, uh, the bike will already be in the suspension shop. I'm going to take it down to Moto Experts and get this thing revalved. I've spent more time playing with these forks and with this shock and clickers than I have on basically any other bike. I've been clicking around on, I've got six or seven hours on the bike now total and I never could find a happy spot with it. I was playing all over with rebound, compression, everything. Talked to a number of industry experts. I called seven, I called eight different suspension companies and talked to them about what I was feeling and I talked to factory at least one factory beta rider and said hey look what's going on with your KYB fork and he's like look the stock components on these uh, the stock cartridges in these forks are not good enough they're too stiff and you're gonna have to get it revalved which is sad because the KYB components are great but you've got to have this thing worked on and that's a Debbie downer for me because the last couple of beta bikes that I've had were phenomenal the beta 390 RR race edition uh, was phenomenal in the slow stuff and the fast stuff the beta 200 RR standard edition was phenomenal in the in the really good in the slow stuff and, and still really serviceable in the faster stuff this one just isn't. Uh, the next bike that I have on that I'm going to go pick up and review will be a Yamaha YZ250FX, which also has KYB suspension. But the thing is, guys, not every KYB is valved, uh, you know, the same. There's about a million different components that you can put in these things. So just because it says KYB on the side doesn't mean that it's going to be the best thing out there. And then obviously they're trying to, you know, valve these things for a wide variety of riders. But this one is just too stiff. It's too stiff. It makes the bike feel too rigid. And uh, I'm going to get that fixed. So... Uh, I think this will be the last video that I put out on the bike until I go and get the suspension overhauled. It really kind of sucks because it's the first, you know, 
new bike that I felt like I didn't want to ride it anymore in its stock form. Now, if I wasn't riding other bikes side by side with it, maybe it wouldn't be that big of a deal. You know, maybe if I wasn't jumping off of this bike right now in this ride and then riding a 2020 KTM 250 XC with the air fork, if I wasn't able, if I wasn't doing that, you could, I wouldn't have the, the baseline to know like, oh my goodness. This bike is so harsh. Also, if I couldn't jump off it and go straight to a KTM uh, 300XEW and then feel how much more plush that is, I'd be like, oh my goodness. I've been riding a lot of bikes. I ride a lot of bikes all the time. Um, and this one is just very, very harsh. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with the Yamaha. Um, I do not expect the Yamaha to be this harsh. I haven't had a Yamaha this harsh since my 2014 Yamaha YZ 450F, which also has KYB forks. But like I said, there's a million different cartridges that you can put in these forks. So um, none of them are exactly alike because there's a million different things you can do with shims and stacks and valves. And I'm not a suspension guy, but I've seen suspension apart enough to know that it's a complex system inside. So next video you'll see on this bike, uh, it will have updated components in it. And I'm going to get this bike tricked out because it is a giveaway bike and I want it to be performing as good as humanly possible. Want to give it away to you guys later this year in April, May, June timeframe. So anyway, that's what I've got for you. Let's watch the rest of this video. So Tyler's going to take the three hundo and rip down this trail here. Beta, 2020 Beta, 300 RR, race edition. I'm on his 2020 KTM 250 XC. It's a little bit muddy. Well, it's a lot bit muddy. What am I saying? Oh man, it's slick. Holy crap. Like for me to be comfortable. Freaking Tyler's a race car driver up there. Man. So slick him. I almost lost it back there.